What is happening guys, Chris here, bringing you an Advanced Warfare Weapon Guide, and I've finally got my hands on the Ascendance DLC, and so with that, I can now show you a new weapon that comes along with it. This one's called the OHM, and in typical COD fashion, they've decided that an LMG just isn't enough. So Sledgehammer have gone down the buy one get one free route and stuck a shotgun on there too for good measure. So you'll be able to switch from an LMG to a shotgun on the fly. You can only use this weapon by getting the Ascendance DLC or the Season Pass. And once you download it, the gun should already be in your stash, ready to use without having to unlock it first, alongside a pretty cool looking variant called the Werewolf, which has a negative point for its accuracy and a positive point for its mobility. And these can be both found in your heavy weapons list. So first off, the OHM is a brand new weapon for the game and it's described as a 2-in-1 directed energy LMG shotgun. So it's another laser type weapon like the AE4 that we got in the Havoc DLC, but this one's actually a heavy weapon that can switch between two modes the LMG and the shotgun, and a cool point to make out is that the shotgun also fires bursts of lasers. Now unlike the AE4, the OHM doesn't rely on battery packs or a heat up system, and simply uses good old magazines. It also has wall penetration damage too. So the LMG mode of the gun has a considerably high damage that can kill in free shots at pretty much all ranges. It fires at a devilish 666 rounds per minute. This is actually the same speed at which the BAL-27 fires its first four shots. So the OHM fires faster than the AE4, and yet takes about the same amount of bullets, or in this case lasers, to kill. When you switch over to the fully automatic shotgun mode, you'll find that the overall spread is quite high. This fires at 500 RPM, and it's quite similar to the S12. Now although the shotgun is quite weak and doesn't have much range, it fires multiple shots, one after the other. So at closer ranges, you'll quite easily be able to blast your way through anyone nearby. The recoil of the LMG isn't all that bad, it tends to jump around in a random sort of pattern but it's quite controllable and your bullets tend to go around in the direction that you're aiming in, most of the time. The shotgun will kick quite a lot so it's probably not the great idea to aim down your sights too much while you're in the shotgun mode. So in each magazine the OHM has 40 rounds, so it's not really that many when you compare it to other LMGs in the game, and it only has a few more rounds than most assault rifles. It has a reload time of about 3 seconds so it's much faster than your typical LMG, and I guess you could kind of treat the OHM in a similar way that you'd use an assault rifle with extended mags. Now the gun should kill your target at any rage in just 3 shots, and that's actually pretty good, as the AE4 takes 4 shots to kill over longer distances. Though because the recoil can be a bit random, sometimes it might make some enemies further away a bit harder to hit. Though in most cases you should be fine. Though the OHM doesn't exactly have a wide range of attachments, and you're a bit more limited as to what you can use. There's no silencer. So if you're planning on being unstealthy with this weapon, good luck. There's no grenade launcher either, and weirdly enough, there's no foregrip, so you'll just have to get used to that recoil whether you like it or not. The iron sights are quite clear, but as a personal preference, I found that I could track targets a bit easier with a red dot sight. But if they're good for you, you could use the extra pick 13 slot for something else. Now the weapon has a slow aim down sights time, especially when you're coming up against players wielding SMGs and assault rifles. So a good attachment that you might want to equip is the quick draw grip. The stock is also a good choice as well, because the OHM is a heavy weapon, you walk around a bit slower, and so the stock will make you a much more manoeuvrable target in ADS, and other players are going to find you a bit harder to take out, and you're going to be able to strafe in and out more easily to line up your shots. I'd highly recommend using the lightweight perk to boost your movement speed too. Extended mags will boost your overall magazine size to a nice 60 rounds, so this might be a good option if you're constantly getting killed during those long winded reloads. The OHM has a ridiculously large hip fire spread, so the laser sight will be a useful attachment for not only the LMG part of the gun, but also when you switch over to your shotgun. This will ensure that most of your shots will hit your target when hip firing, and because the gun takes a bit longer to ADS, hip firing will probably be a better alternative at closer ranges, especially with the shotgun. You have the option to use rapid fire with the OHM, and this will increase your rate of fire up to 833 rounds per minute for the LMG, and 625 with the shotgun. Now because you can't equip the foregrip, there's no way to counter that extra bounce that the rapid fire will add on there, and it can be a really tough weapon to tame at medium to long ranges. Though if you are using the shotgun quite a lot, the extra speed is super effective, and you can destroy anyone nearby even quicker. But as a whole, the rapid fire attachment adds just a bit too much kick to control to be a better weapon. So all in all, the OHM is a good weapon to use in most ranges. It kills in three shots, and if that's not good enough, you can always swap over to your shotgun to blast your way through anyone nearby. The recoil is not too bad, though it can be a bit jumpy, and most of the time it shouldn't be too much of a problem unless you're aiming at someone at a far distance. 
It's quite fun swapping over from LMG to shotgun to cater for different ranges, depending on your situation, and a lot of the time it can give you a tactical advantage. It can be a bit of a sluggish weapon to use at times, but when you use the right attachments and perks, you can make the gun feel much more comfortable and reliable to use. For an LMG, the mag size is low, but you'll at least have more rounds than the standard SMGR assault rifle. The reload speed is also a lot better than the other LMGs, putting you back into the action a lot quicker. So if you have the Ascendance DLC, you should go and give the OHM a try. It's a strong LMG that shares a lot of assault rifle traits, and it comes with a free shotgun pat on the side. Anyway, that's just about all I've got for you in this video, but do be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this weapon guide, and that'll help me out a bunch. And make sure you subscribe to see loads more content on Advanced Warfare and other games. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.